Well, everybody, there's a new firmware for the Thii T5e, and luckily for me, I've got two of them so I can compare old firmware to the latest one that just got released, and we'll put them side by side and see if there's a difference coming right up. All right, there is a new firmware for the Thii T5e, and we're gonna test it out. I've got them both on a board. Just gonna test out stabilization with both of these cameras, see if the new firmware has improved the stabilization. A little windy, a little cold in Texas. It's in the uh, mid 30s right now and a little windy. But we'll see how the image looks on these cameras between firmwares. Also going to get out of the wind now, we're going to do a uh, little firmware audio test, see if the audio has changed at all, which I don't think it should have. First we'll try the old firmware first, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Now the new firmware, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Let's see if there's any difference there. All right, now this is with distortion correction off. Let me find a nice little corner here. I guess this would be a good spot to see distortion correction. See the back fence kind of bow up. And now with distortion correction on, fence looks nice and straight. Doesn't seem to bow very much, although I'll have to stick it in a computer to see. But it looks like it corrects it nicely. Also, another cool feature is normally when you add distortion correction, it will turn off the gyro or electronic image stabilization. But it seems that Thii has figured out a workaround for the T5e to have distortion correction and keep the image stabilization on. So what are my final thoughts about this new firmware update for the Thii T5e? Well, there's a, I think it's a, a huge improvement in the image stabilization because the stabilization is much better as you can tell from the side-by-side -side video, but there are a little, couple little changes. Um, if you look at how the image field of view is you can see that it's cropped in more with the new firmware and in Thii's defense and in any action camera's defense the only way that you're going to improve image stabilization is that they're going to have to crop in the image somewhat to be able to take out that jitter and that shake so you give up a little bit of field of view but you get an improved stabilized video image so that's a good thing and you can tell that the distortion correction works very well when you look at the distortion of the fence versus with the distortion correction off versus with the distortion correction on the fence is nice and straight so you get a smaller field of view but you gain nice distortion correction and i think very nice image stabilization with this new firmware and I don't know if it's just me, but I'll let you be the judge and please comment below on what you thought about the two firmware side by side. But I think the audio is even a little bit more improved where it doesn't have that higher pitch hiss to it. It has more of a nice wide range uh, to the vocal. Uh, so 
that's my little two cents on it. Uh, comment below. Tell me what you think about it. I'll put a link to the uh, Thii T5e in the description below so you can check it out. I've had the camera for a while. I've taken it on vacations with me. It's been a great camera. I'll do a low light test between the two firmwares in the next couple of days and put that up. But I've got a couple other reviews i got to finish up. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.